If you use Gmail and you want to know how to customize your inbox, I'm here to show you customizations that will take your inbox to the next level. Welcome to the Handy Hudsonite, your channel for tips, hacks, and reviews on tech, home, auto projects so that you can get handy and useful advice to get that job done, whatever that job might be. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any handy advice from me. And I put up videos on a regular basis, so you want to make sure to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out. Today we're going to look at your Gmail inbox and how to customize it to take it to the next level. Gmail, by default, will have a number of settings in place that you may or may not like and want to use. So I'm going to show you how we can go in and tweak some of these settings so that you can get the most out of your Gmail experience. Now, I did a Gmail tutorial recently and you can uh, watch that here. Just click on the link above. So today, let's look at how to go into your settings. Now here is my uh, Gmail layout. Go up here to this cog and we'll go into settings. Click on that settings tab. You're gonna be brought into the general settings. And the general settings will give you a number of customizations. Now if you're setting up your account, if it's fairly new, you will see this setup progress bar up on the top. Obviously I have some work to do to get this more set up. The language that you prefer, and there are a number of choices there. Uh, your country, if you're not in the United States, then you will want to change this to your respective country. Now, here's where things get a little more interesting, is you can set the number of conversations per page. So if you want to see more, you set it to 100. By default, it's at 50. Or if you want less, if you don't want to see as much busyness on your inbox page. Images, whether you want to display external images or not, uh, or if you want to just be prompted to display them, because frankly, we get a lot of emails and sometimes you just don't want to see all the images in it. You just want to see the text to drill down to what that person or that company is wanting to communicate to you. And this will also enable your inbox to open a little quicker if it's not loading all those external images. The undo send, I actually talk about this in my previous video on the 14 power tips for utilizing your inbox, but I'll go over it again. Uh, the undo send is something that allows you to take back an email if you send it to the wrong person or if you're not quite done with it and you don't want it to go out. You can click on it. There will be an, a little bar that will show up down here in the lower left that will prompt you to undo it. And here you can change it even up to 30 seconds to give you a little more time to take back that email. Default reply behavior, if you uh, prefer just replying to all people at, in the thread of the email, by default, you can check this. Uh, the regular reply is the, the default that uh, Google will give you. Smart Compose, I go over this also in my 14 tip video. It gives writing suggestions, so please refer to that video uh, on how that works. The default writing style, text style rather, will give you a number of different fonts to work with. If you, can, you get kind of bored with the sans serif that uh, Google gives you by default. Also, if you want larger font by default, you can set it here as well as the color of the text and then uh, the remove formatting uh, feature. So, uh, that is that part. The experimental access, uh, if you want to gain, you want to get in on some of the experimental features that they're releasing, you want to check this uh, so that you can get in on those early. Conversational view, this is uh, just shows you how things are grouped together by topic. That is turned on by default. If you don't care about that, you can set that off here. Nudges, now Google obviously continues to get smarter in the way they think that we operate. So they have checked these by default as far as suggest emails to reply to, uh, which is 
I've found to be fairly helpful this top one because if you fail to follow up on a particular email it will uh, show up and suggest that you do uh, and so you might want to leave these checked hover actions these just enable you to get quick access to some other features uh, in that particular message which which is nice but you, if you don't want a whole bunch of things showing up on your your hovering experience then just disable that send an archive I also talk about this in my 14 tips power tips video on Gmail that that can be turned on or off here smart reply and this is a feature that I won't go into uh, today but one that um, you can again turn off if you don't want to have this experience populated for you in the inbox preview pane I also talk about this in my 14 tips video this is one that is really nice because it gives you an Outlook, a Microsoft Outlook like experience by breaking up the message thread with the preview either uh, on a horizontal or vertical basis. Desktop notifications. This is nice if you just want to be able to get notified of messages when you're working in other programs. This will integrate with your Mac or, or Windows uh, computers so that you can get notifications stars I go into this customization in my 14 Gmail tips video as well um, these give you the ability to give unique looks to the the uh, starred messages that you are using in your inbox uh, the way that you label particular messages helps for organization keyboard shortcuts I talk about these in my previous video, though in my previous video I failed to mention that this is where you can enable it. And in fact, I had tried to go in and use some of the shortcuts in that video, but it wouldn't work. And I didn't realize that by default they're off here. So I might just go ahead and check that circle and get them turned on. Button labels. So these are uh, labels that are going to be either icons or text whatever you prefer icons are there by default and your picture and you can see my handy Hudsonite logo there that's the one that I use for this account and you can choose to whether have that be visible to everyone or just the people that you chat with so this is obviously working with the G chat feature which will be the chat feature with this which is on the left handbar sidebar I should say of your Gmail inbox create context for autocomplete so this enables you to add people to your contacts when you uh, when you complete their their emails in your inbox or you can prefer just to add context yourself this is nice because it does automatically populate your Google contacts with people that you message on a regular basis okay so you have important signals for ads we won't get into that in this video and your signature which is a powerful feature and a reminder to me that I need to get this set up for my account but you can put anything in here uh, when it comes to text even images links so it's a powerful feature especially if you run your own business and you want to have some call to actions down at the bottom for people to visit your site to watch your videos, email you, call you, whatever. And this, this is just a great feature for that. Personal level indicators. So these will just be indicators uh, that will earmark messages in certain ways, whether they're, uh, they're sent to your address um, or messages sent only to, to you, uh, if you want to have that ability to have that, that label. Uh, snippets so snippets of the message whether those are shown or whether you just want to see the subject and some people like not having the snippets on just so that you can keep your inbox looking clean and not see the first bit of the message in the inbox if that's what you prefer and vacation responder great feature let people know that you're not going to be able to respond to them right away and you can have this turned on and notify people uh, when you're going to be getting back to them and a message to go out so 
another great feature of Gmail. I hope this tutorial has helped you with your Gmail experience. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get more notifications on to how you can get handy, useful advice to in encourage your experience with tech, auto, and home projects so that you can get the job done.